What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, of course, the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And this is episode two or take two with my good friend, Ken Schwartz of C60 Purple Power. Ken, what's going on, brother? How are you? Oh, things are going on pretty good right now. Awesome, man. It's good to see. So Ken and I started a podcast earlier today, and this is version two because they were putting solar panels on my house and they were going drilling right above my head in my uh, home studio office. So uh, anyway, we are on version two. So guys, a lot of you guys uh, are familiar with Ken already. I've done numerous podcasts with him. He does own uh, C60 Purple Power, which is one of the biggest carbon 60 uh, sellers on planet earth. And they are the proud supplier of the carbon 60 that Nick Andrews and I uh, get for our revolutionary hair product, Oxano. Um, So publicly disclosing that out there today for a seer custom, but uh, Ken is of course the CEO and uh, let me give you guys officially, he's the chief scientist, founder and chief science officer of C60 Purple Power. He's also a very, very smart guy who I've had on the podcast many times before. So you guys are going to really enjoy this podcast. So, you know, why don't you, let's just start with today is April 29th, 2021. And we find ourselves in a very mysterious, uh, fun filled matrix. Um, what is your take right now before we get into the benefits and features and all that stuff of carbon 60, what is going on in the world right now, Ken? Uh, I I see basically a general breakdown. I would call it wars and rumors of wars. And there's about there's three or four sputtering fuses that could set it off at any time. So, and of course, all the other stuff that's going on, from the lockdowns to the financial money being created out of thin air, like <laughs> fire hose. Uh, yeah, it's money. yeah. I think, as the Chinese would say, we live in interesting times. Yes, we live in very interesting times. Okay, so we will get back to that before the show is over. Um, For people that are not familiar with Carbon 60, let me just set the tone. So I've been using Carbon 60. My wife, Monica, has been using Carbon 60. My beautiful dogs, Thor and Simba, have been using Carbon 60. My daughters are using Carbon 60. Since literally 2019, when Ken first sent me a bottle, actually, Ken and I met uh, personally um, in uh, in Rex Bear's LeakCon conference back in May of 2019. But Ken and I have been talking, I think, for probably, what, six or seven months previous to that, through Jeff Doherty or vice versa. And, um, you know, carbon 60 is an amazing nanomolecule. I'll let Ken talk about it, but again, we use it for, uh, all sorts of life enhancing processes. Our dogs have been revolutionized by, by its usage. Um, it's just an amazing adjunct to a fully optimized life. And I highly recommend that anyone and everyone who wants to live longer and stronger be utilizing in some capacity in their life. But Ken, why don't you, for somebody who's a total newbie, and it's possible there there will be, 
to carbon 60. Why don't you just talk a little bit about it? What is it and why is it beneficial from a health aspect for almost everyone? Well, carbon 60 is a little molecule. It's a 60 carbon atom shaped like a itty bitty tiny soccer ball. And it was discovered in 1985 by Harry Croto, Richard Smalley and Robert Curl. They were actually solved a mystery in astronomy. It's C60 is made in plenitude in the outer atmospheres of giant red stars. Those are stars that burn helium into carbon. And there was being, it was a big spectrum thing in the infrared spectrum it was called in the dibs. And uh, so they discovered it and they got, a, and in 1996, they got a Nobel prize for it. But you know, it never, it was a new molecule from outer space even. So it was, it was really hard to make, but in, in the early 2000s, they finally had enough to start testing on animals because what's it going to do, right? This could be, you know, a strange molecule from outer space. And when they tested it on animals, they found that it doubled animal lifespan over controls. And then it kind of all went out from there. And uh, what they've just, what we know now is it's a, it's probably one of the world's most powerful antioxidants. And it's, it's, it, but it's a selective antioxidant. It only interacts with high energy oxidative radicals like super oxygen. That's an oxygen with an extra electron, hydroxyl radical, peroxy nitrate, and possibly hydrogen peroxide. It doesn't interfere with any of the signaling molecules. React, there's a lot of reactive oxidative species the body uses for signaling, like uh, the nitrogen oxides that dilates or contracts your capillaries. And there's other ones based on iron, sulfur, and zinc. And they're lower energy oxidative radicals. So they even tested rats. They gave rats like one kilogram, one gram of C60 per kilogram of weight, which would be like 10,000 times a person would be taking or an effective healthy dose. And uh, there was no negative side effects. So unlike other antioxidants, you can never overdose on C60. Beautiful. And again, uh, uh, you know, again, personally, I've been using it for three years now. I take it every single morning with, uh, I take a tablespoon. I think Monica takes probably a mixture or uh, in between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Our dogs love the taste of carbon 60. They, you know, we put it in their food. Actually, both of our dogs now just come right up with a squirter. They put it right in their mouth and they love it. I mean, again, it's a profound, um, you know, I would say technology, again, a nanomolecule to improve life processes. Um, talk a little bit about, you, you know, you did, I hope you could do it as good as you did on the last one, but uh, you kind of broke down the endocrine system and you kind of, you know, went through all the various biological processes that C60 actually enhances. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, C60 works at the cellular level to really improve health and it's an antioxidant and what it really works best in is the mitochondria. Right. And so this is, I'm more for the gray hair crowd here. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the mitochondria are little organelles that are in your cell and they make ATP, the energy molecule of your cell. And there could be dozens to hundreds of them, yep. them, depending on what type of cell it is. And so as we get older, a lot of the antioxidants, the larger cell makes supply the mitochondria with like SOD, superoxide, dismutase, catalase, glutathione, they go down. And so when that they go down, the you know, the mitochondria is a little furnace. It's turning, you know fats and sugars into ATP and uh, the energy molecule of the cell. And so when it doesn't have enough antioxidants, it basically has to turn itself down. So now you have less ATP, your cell has less energy. You start getting diseases associated with aging that come with that. Well, when you take C60, it uh, now C60 is a great SOD uh, replacer, places superoxide dismutase. So now you can take care of superoxygen and hydrogen peroxide and the ox hydroxyl radicals and peroxy nitrate. And so the mitochondria push the go ramp themselves back up. And so now your cells have a bunch of ATP. Now they can do all the cellular and chemistry that they need to do, whatever that is, whatever type of cell it is, now it can do it. Now there's another thing that mitochondria do is they buffer cells. They do the calcium buffering in cells. So like for your neurons, once the calcium buffering is inside the cell, which is kind of the key ion in there, then the potassium and uh, sodium discharge recharge that the nerves use to fire off is much more balanced. So you get an improvement there. And, uh, and then perhaps one of the other things that C60 does, the mitochondria also make uh, pregnenolone and pregnenolone right. is the precursor molecule for all the hormones. And right. they make that LDL cholesterol, by the way, which is supposedly the bad cholesterol. And so once you get an increase in pregnenolone back to where you were much younger, so like in your pineal gland, now you can produce melatonin in your pituitary hypothalamus gland, you can now produce human growth hormone and a whole bunch of others that are, that's like the master hormone gland of the body. And your thy, thy, thyroid, you can make T3 and T4, 
down in your uh, adrenals, you can make uh, you can make mineral corticoids that balances your your blood level assaults and stuff in the blood blood pressure. Glut glutocorticoids those balance you know glucose production, and uh, also the androgens, which are uh, make which depending on what sex you are, it's yep. either you can make estrogen, progesterone, or testosterone. Right. So and and so that's basically how they go. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. So. Uh, you did a pretty good job. I think that was about as good as the last job. So good job. As I always say, Ken comes on here and puts most doctors that come on the Jay Campbell podcast to shame and breaking down the endocrine system. Um, so let's talk a little bit about before we get into like carbon 60 and you know how it is used in the revolutionary Oxano grow. Um, let's talk a little bit about people using carbon 60. Now, um, I think you and I have dealt with this. You're probably the guy to deal with this the best ever. You know, uh, again, obviously you sell it, you know, everything good, good and bad. There really is nothing bad, but uh, you know, you're going to get people that are going to come at you and they're going to be like, Oh, it's not really tested in humans. And you know, those tests that you guys source or quote are in animals and lab rats and stuff like that. You know, like why should I consider taking an untested nanomolecule like carbon 60? So what, what would you say to somebody who says that to you? Uh, well, I might say to C60 might not be for you. <laughs> that's yeah. what I might say to them. That's, that's probably uh, the answer. Because, you know, you have to, you know, people have to take responsibility for their own health and make their own decisions. 100%. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of health articles out there. And C60 works at the cellular level, right? No. And, and, and so it doesn't matter whether it's a human or a rat or a mouse or a rabbit or whatever it is, because at the cellular level, we're all the same. Yeah. It's, there's very little difference there. And so, and so that's why that the things and the things that they found are fundamental things that work at the cellular level. And I mean, the main things it does, C60 does, it fights inflammation. Right. Inflammation is caused by oxidative radicals. C60 is the almost the, 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 the probably the most powerful antioxidant known. And in uh, one of the good and, and it's also a selective antioxidant. So you can never overtake it. Like if you were taking too much vitamin D, E or NAC and you're doing heavy exercise, you can have problems because your redox system is now out of whack. You'll never have that with C60. It also supports immunity. We can talk about it, stimulates stem cell growth and uh, primarily through the apoptosis of senescent cells. Yeah, let's talk about that, actually. Let's go a little bit deeper down there because a lot of people on my podcast are very familiar with the term senescence. They're very familiar with the terms autophagy and hormesis. So let's break that down. Let's, let's go deep, a little bit deeper about what it's doing at a cellular level. Okay, well, uh, well let's, let's, let's talk about the senescent cells. Sure, and then, and then it comes back to the mitochondria again. Of course, C60 also hangs out in the endoplasm reticulum, which is where the proteins are made, and and also other places. It also it, it's kind of lipophilic, so it hangs yeah. to hang out with membranes. So it's going to be protecting your nucleus and all that. But uh, we'll get back to the to the mitochondria. And what happens with senescent cells? Usually, for senescent cells, is they have shortened telomeres. Telomeres mm -hmm. are like little threads on the end of the chromosomes. When they get short, and the cell can't reproduce anymore. It's, uh, but the cell doesn't want to die. So what a lot of those senescent cells do, it kind of changes things and stop providing antioxidants to the mitochondria. So they have to turn down. It makes its interior more acidic. So it does a lot of fermentation process. And basically it's not producing anything useful for your body, but right. it is draining a lot of resources from your body. Right. Okay, when C60 goes in there, it goes into the mitochondria and, and it replaces the missing SOD or catalase. And then at that point, the mitochondria start making ATP, but the mitochondria also send messages to the nuclear DNA of the senescent cell and saying, hey, we need to reproduce, we need to do this and that. And if that nucleus of the cell doesn't send the right messages back to the mitochondria, they will initiate apoptosis, which right. is basically programmed cell death. And then the cell will break down into apoptotic bodies, which are not inflammatory, by the way. And then the phagocytes come and gobble them up and, and that's gone. And then what happens after that is now that cell or tissue is lacks uh, the number of, of cells to, to function. The organ or tissue lacks the number of cells to function. So what happens is they send out messages for stem cells, say, hey, we need you to reproduce. And so that's one of the things people find with uh, when you're taking C60. We have like a 70 year old guy, he goes in to get stem cell treatments. They come running back, you got 20 million stem cells. And that's, uh, and that's, that's like, that's something a, a 20 year old would have, not, not a 70 year old would have. Right. What happens, all those stem cells go in and replace the missing, uh, the, the, the now apoptotic, the missing cells. And actually, we've had a lot of cases where people's, people's telomere, the average telomere length actually increases, but not because it increased the telomeres within the existing cells. It's because all the senescent cells who have very short telomeres 
are wiped out and they're replaced with stem cells, which almost have a full set of telomeres. So actual telomere length increases in the body. It's amazing stuff. Um, okay, so let's talk about dosing uh, deeper. Um, you know, you know, uh, you, you guys, I, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but do you guys have an approximation of like how people figure out their dosages versus animals versus again, you know, 30 year old versus a 50 year old versus a 70 year old? I mean, like, well, how, how do you guys recommend dosing? Well, we've basically, it's uh there is, it's like 0 0.1 per milligram per kilogram, but then C60 hangs around for several days before it exits the body, somewhere seven to 10 days before it flushes totally out of the body. C60 right. doesn't make any permanent permit chemical bonds in the body. It's actually kind of a relative of diamond. Right. And so it just kind of flushes out. And what we found out is uh, through, you know, we have a lot of doctors and engineers and stuff that scientists, and they, for, for an average person, let's say in your thirties, you're 160 pounds, male, female, doesn't matter. About a teaspoon a day is good for you. Right. Now if you're that same person in your sixties and seventies and had a little gray hair on you, then a tablespoon would be more appropriate. So, but, or if you were like, let's say you're in your thirties and you weigh 250 pounds, right? And it just right. wasn't, fat. you know, you were a big guy or an athlete that exercises a lot right. than a tablespoon and really more than a tablespoon or more than two tablespoons would be, it, 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 you can't overdose or have a negative effect on it, but you're probably just be wasting your money because you're just, you're just, you, you have more C60 than probably the, the, that's necessary to do what it can do for you. Yeah. So I take a tablespoon. Monica takes a little bit more than a teaspoon. And then I, like I said, the dogs get the dropper, the measure dropper or whatever. Um, so let's talk about C60 in the world of the bioweapon COVID. So like what is carbon 60 in essence doing as, you know, an immune enhancer? Okay. Well, it supports the immune uh, system in several ways. Well, first it's been found to quiet the cytokine storm. So this is what happens is basically cytokines are, you have an infection, you have all these oxidative radicals that are going on. And basically it's like a, you know, it's it's like, you know, a car gets pulled over and you get 15 cop cars there. You don't need that. You only need one, right? So C60 gets rid of the oxidative radicals that uh, stimulate the massive immune response. So right. that, that's an immune regular. But the other thing also, because it, it creates this huge increase in stem cells, when your immune system is challenged with an invader, it needs to call up resources. And the way it gets that, it gets them from stem cells. Right. So if you have a large reserve of stem cells, they can be immediately turned into whatever sort of immune cell the body needs to fight it. Right. And of course the C60 inside any immune cell makes it operate more efficiently. Right. So, so those are basically the ways by which C60 can help you. And one thing, by the way, C60 doesn't cure anything. What C60 does, it lifts the oxidative burden that your cells are under so that they can operate the way they're supposed to, the way they used to when you were much younger. Right. Wait a minute, Ken. You mean it's not a magic bullet? You mean I can't take C60 and cure all my ills and even enhance my vibration? It's not going to raise my vibration. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, and that's yeah, and it doesn't. Yeah, C60 will not replace good nutrition, proper sleep, and exercise, and also supplementation. Right. And uh, of, of multivitamin, multimineral, and right. all of those things. It's not going to replace any of those. Yeah. It just helps everything work better. Exactly. It's an adjuvant. Like I always tell people, like living a fully optimized life is not fully optimized unless you choose, as you said, to become, you know, the scientist of your own health, to take your own health into your own hands, right? To be personally accountable and not down here and blaming everyone for your lot in life. Okay. So um, obviously the folks uh, on this page and this Jay Campbell podcast are very familiar with my, my uh, company, Asir Custom, which is a Norse word. And people always are like, dude, what the hell does Asir Custom mean? I mean, literally between you and I speaking, uh, a guy that bought the, the, the guy who we bought the house from just came and it was like five minutes after the people that left to put the solar on and he came to pick up mail, right? Cause he still got mail coming here like seven or eight months later. He's a really good guy. He works in surgical equipment sales. His name's Chris McMurtry. He asked me about my company, right? So, you know, we're looking at it on the website. You know, I got my phone in my hand and he looks at it and he's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like Nick likes Norse mythology. A seer means blank, right? But anyway, the bottom line is, People know what a seer is. They know about Oxano. They know it's this amazing, revolutionary new hair product that regrows men's and women's hair. I mean, again, I'm living proof. You know, I don't need to go to the site, but 
you know, we're using GHKCU copper peptide, which is a water-based uh, uh, solution in combination with, and that's serum A with serum B, which is carbon 60, which you guys source and provide to us with a mixture of grapeseed oil extract. Now I will tell people, I don't have it in front of me as you know, Ken knows and I'm sending him a bottle, which by the way, got sent while you and I were off. Oh, great. Uh, it, it has a very micro, a thin, like ebullient, um, you know, grapeseed oil and carbon 60 together in the solution. So when you put it in your hair, if you know, I get my hair up closer to the camera, it leaves a very, like sinewy, texturized, moist hair. So my hair looks like it has product in it, but this is actually just the serum B. So a lot of people who are getting results with this and finding amazing, obviously, success with it also like the idea that you can use the serum B as a texturizer in place of a pomade or a mousse or a gel. And then even women, you know, they use like a curling enhancer um, in their hair. So, I mean, it's pretty absolutely amazing, but can you kind of talk about how carbon 60 helps to regrow hair at the follicular root? Well, one of the first things it does, it's going to, uh, it, well, and you put it on topically there, it'll, it will absorb in and grapeseed oil. Nick found that grapeseed oil holds a lot more C60 than, uh, exactly what we had MCT coconut oil was holding. And, uh, we could talk about different oils, but, uh, it, grape seed, uh, seed oils are generally not the best taken internally, sure. Uh, but uh, but topically they're perfectly fine. Right, they've been doing that for centuries, and so yeah. So what it does, it gets in there, and first thing, it's going to stop uh, oxidative radicals damaging. Exactly. It. Another thing, we think it, we don't have all the proof yet, but there's an awful lot. Obviously, it's a, it, it. We think it also will uh, catalyze off or destroy hydrogen peroxide. And that's what a lot of people notice when they take C60. By the way, boom! I'm glad you said that. You just geniused everybody. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, because remember, uh, as, as you know, like we had like Jeff Doherty, uh, you know him. He's, he started taking C60. He was all white hair, and now he's like salt and pepper. Yeah. And Because that's what C60 neutralizes the – and basically it's hydrogen peroxide, which is bleaching out your hair. Uh, why do you think my hair is dark now? Because, as yes, I was much grayer. And now yeah, and so that's one thing. And, that, and that's doing the oxidative radicals. And so obviously that's a, a good part of thing. And also it gets into your mitochondria and the little hair follicles down there. It'll soak right in and get them fully functioning. And so, but it does all that, but, but it's not going to C60 will not do that all by itself. Right. I mean, it can make the hair darker. It can do that. It's the, the peptide that you provide. Yep. That's the, that's the key, which opens a lock. C60 exactly. is maybe like the oil that gets, yep. makes the rock lock nut rusty. And then the peptide you provide is the what opens that lock up, and then those little hair follicles come back out. Yeah, and you can hear that, that, that's exactly right. So basically, think of the carbon sixty as the super antioxidant dismutase, right? So it's like basically prepping the scalp, and then you put the copper peptide GHKCU increases the angiogenesis, which is obviously the red blood cell formation. So you create like the perfect combination of stimulating the follicle to regrow. I mean, Ken, it's literally like um, turning on being, you know, four, between three and five, when you really start growing hair, you're simulating an environment to where basically the cells are like, oh shit, I can actually regrow hair. And that's what we're finding is so astonishing. And of course I have this on the website now, but this, you can utilize this even in the presence of genetic hair predispositional loss, right? So androgenic alopecia, which I have, by the way, which comes from the mother's side. Um, most of my brothers, I have six brothers, three sisters. Most of my brothers have my mom's, you know, genetic predisposition and they lose their hair, thins their hair. And as you know, Ken, my hair, let's, sh let's just might as well show it. I mean, my hair was completely bald a year ago. Let me just share the screen just so people that don't know. And I think most people do know this now, but I mean, this was my hair right? Is it showing up? Yeah, uh, there it is. So, so basically this was my hair right here. This was literally at the very end of 2019. This was my hair. Okay. Yeah. I had the, actually, let me say, let me, let me correct myself. This is one month after having the micro pigmentation, right? So you can still see, I had follicles, there's hair up there, but that's pretty much what I had left. And most people who know me can, you know, saw me as a bald dude, you know, you know, close to a chrome dome. Now this is with version two a month. 
Okay. So again, this is pretty astonishing. Even on the side of my head, you can see the regrowth. It's astonishing. I just cut my hair as Ken knows yesterday because my mission right now is to grow a full mohawk so people can see that this is not BS. You know, I mean, it's pretty unbelievable stuff, but um, I mean, yeah, that's where we are. As you know, we have a provisional patent now. So now we're in the process of getting, uh, you know, a fully defensible uh, intellectual property position on the delivery system. And Ken, you know this, I'm sure uh, Nick has uh, talked to you about this, but basically you can't patent obviously carbon copper peptide or carbon 60, the buck, the bucky ball, or the, what is it? The Buckminster fullerene, but you can yes. patent, you can patent delivery systems yes. and right now. And you can talk about this a little bit because you're very qualified to talk about this. But uh, right now, it's a two-stage product. It's, again, Serum A is the GHKCU spray, and it's also in a water-based formulation. And then the Serum B is carbon-60 in a grapeseed, you know, very, very mild, thin oil. But Nick's game plan and goal, and of course, we're already working on doing this, is to create a liposomal delivery system so that you can combine the oil and the water together. Is that something you feel okay to talk about, about how that can be done? Uh, yes, it can be done. I know the people that can do it. Right. So, uh, so yeah, it's, but it's, yeah, it's impossible to do that. It's, but I, yeah, there's, there's some special stuff that can do it, but I, it's all proprietary. So I can talk about it. Yeah, no, I know. But I mean, let me, can you just expound on like how it's not going to, I don't want you to reveal the ancient Chinese trade secrets or proprietary formulation, but I'm from a standpoint of like why it'll still be okay in a one phase delivery system. Oh yeah. What they'll do is they'll just break it down to little, little bitty balls of, uh, they make you, there's a way to make them that and so the C60 and the fat is broken down to like little tiny bitty balls, right. which then can be suspended in water. It's the yeah. same principle. I mean, milk has milk fats in it, right? Right. And it doesn't separate. And that's because the milk fats are really, really, really tiny. And so that they just stay suspended in the watery solution. So yeah, it can definitely be done. It's just, you know, the cow does it pretty efficiently, but it's, it's a little harder to do it in the production facility. Well, it's, it's funny that you say that because obviously Nick and I are looking into all sorts of other ways to enhance it. And as you know, uh, you know, one of the big things right now in the hair loss slash hair replacement, hair stoppage of whatever uh, industry is red light right? Like they've patented all these like skull caps. And again, red light, same thing, right? Improves mitochondrial function, mitochondrial density, my, enhances mitochondrial, you know, in so many different ways. So if you would get like a red light applicator and then, yep, there you go. There you go. So you get the red light skull cap. And then what if you put the Oxano Grow in there so that while the red light was working, you were also massaging, you know, this formulation and that would even be better, right? Because now you've got the superoxidant C60 effect. You've got the carbon, I mean, the, uh, the GHKCU creating the angiogenesis. And now you've got the red light stimulating the mitochondrial even further. So you would have literally like the ultimate hair growth uh, reagent. Oh, yeah. It's all those different things working together. I mean, it's the, that you're the one, the peptide you have and the C60 working together with the oil and yeah, red light could add to it. And it's all that things, but it will, and well, and then probably other things like not smoking, eating <laughs> properly. Uh, there's probably a few things that you but could can. Talk, you could smoke not. weed, bro, because weed is natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's what really the enough. kids of today are been told, dude. That's what they learn in college. Well, marijuana is natural. It's a plant. You know, you can smoke yeah. as much as you want. I mean, can you imagine that that's what they learn today at their 18 to 20 to 22 years old? That's what they teach them, dude. Well, that's what they've, yeah, that's, I don't know if they've learned it. They've been uh, educated. I mean, there's a difference between, uh, right. uh, I think between, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, a, a school taught, the learned, the school right. taught versus education. And real right. education is self-education. Exactly. And you're, you know, you're some dude sitting in front of the class is not going to tell you anything. It's like getting the optimized lifestyle. You have to go out there and research it. You exactly. want to you have a health problem? You want to know how to fix it? You have to go out and you can't just take some some guy comes in in a white coat and tells you, here's a solution, take this pill. And that's not the way it really works in the real world. You have to go out and research that. What the, What's this problem? What causes it? What are some of the solutions? And which is what's going to be right for, for you or for me or whatever it is. You've got to do that. And it takes time. It takes effort. And in the end, it takes money too. 
And, 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 you, and you have to put all of that together to have an optimized lifestyle or, or basically any kind of life at all. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with US Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm in 100% agree. And, and I'll, let me just put the statement and then I want to walk through your site real quick and you can kind of show us like the different products and like why people would want to get what and how they would use it with their animals because it's important. But look, I say this and I've been saying this for four years and I wish I was smart enough to come up with this statement. This was a doctor. And truthfully, I don't even remember what doctor it was. I've been podcasting as you know since 2015. So it doesn't matter. But like if you cannot afford, and by the way, this goes whether you're a janitor or CEO, you know, if you cannot afford five to ten thousand dollars a year on your personal health care, then you have your priorities completely out of whack. Now, again, that's not a lot of money, Ken. Do the math. Twelve months times four hundred dollars a month is five thousand dollars, right? Now, if you're at an elite level, like somebody like you and I, I mean, we live in this world. This is what we do on a day and day basis. Double that, and that's where you are, right? So it's not hard. To come back and say like, dude, I only make $42,000 a year. You know, I'm a construction worker or a healthcare worker, whatever. You can still budget your money so that you can take care of your personal health care. And again, I mean, how important is it? And obviously we're going to go through the site in a second, but you know, just one comment, like how people have their lives so out of whack where, where they spend money versus where they should be investing their money. I think hypocrisy is the uh, god of, uh, or the Greek guy. I think he said, let medicine be your food. Exactly. And so exactly. when you go buy your food, you go buy organic food. You buy healthy foods. You don't go and buy, eat some nasty fried food that's been, you know, it's some high glycemic index potato in covered in bread and then with some rancid seed oil on it. <laughs> that's not going to bring health to you. You have to know what is good, what is healthy food to eat, and then you buy it organic so you don't get the pesticides, the herbicides. Oh, don't you know, even get me going. You, you, can't even, you, can, you can't even buy meat anymore unless you buy wild caught or organic or you know grass fed because yeah. it's loaded with pesticides. Yeah, and I mean, just go down in the center of your store and look at the look at go look at the packaging, look at the ingredients. Look, if you can't pronounce the word. At the end of those ingredients, you shouldn't be eating it. No doubt, dude. It's absolutely amazing. All right, let's walk through your site real quick here. Um, okay, so we're on Ken's site. And by the way, I'm going to give you guys all a uh, link, an affiliate link here in a second to uh, get a big healthy discount off some of these products. But uh, let's just talk about these various products right now, Ken. So talk a little bit about uh, what, why did I actually lose where I found you? Is this right here? Is this where you are? You know, that's, well, these are the three products, the three basic product types. Yeah. We, we, there's some, we, we haven't gone into capsules because if, you know, capsules hold, like you have to take a certain amount to be effective, right? Sure. In a tablespoon. So a teaspoon is something like 3.5 milligrams. Yep. Most capsules hold about seven. So you're doing like four or five capsules at a time. Right. You know, or you can do a teaspoon. It's much easier. And we have basically three oils. It's we've, we have the Goldilocks solution. Now, on one side, there's the nasty oils you should never be eating, and those are the seed oils like cottonseed, wow, uh, canola, wow. uh, soy oils, uh, peanut oils. Uh, there's some safflower, sunflower oils. These seed oils, they have too high omega-6 profile. Right. They're not healthy for you. They're just going to cause inflammation in your body. And then on the other side, there are some really good oils that you like some some like flaxseed oil and hemp seed oil and fish oil, krill oils. And these have a really nice omega-3 profile. The yeah. only problem is they go rancid really rapidly. So like if you're going to use flaxseed oil or 
hemp seed oil or fish oil or krill oil, always, always buy that in the refrigerated section of your health food store. Never buy it off the shelf. You buy fish oil off the shelf, you are getting rancid oil. So what we did is we have the Goldilocks solution. We basically have it in MCT coconut oil. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. We also have it in avocado oil. And I don't have the bottle here, but also olive oil. And of course, let's talk about olive oil. oil olive oil, you know, part of the tradition, traditional Mediterranean diet. People have been right. using it for thousands of years. It's well characterized. We, we have all organic oils, you know, basically farm source. So we know where it's coming from. Yep. And, and people probably already know the benefits of olive oil. Well, when, when C60 was first starting, and I guess I should I could get back and tell you how I got into the C60. I was, uh, I was working on the metal oxygen fusion reactor project. And unfortunately, every other person who'd been working on this sort of fusion reactor reaction <laughs> was dead. The late doctor this, the late doctor that. And I didn't really know there, there could be some sort of unknown radiation, right? We didn't know what was happening. Eventually, we figured out what it was. But uh, so we made sure I, I went out looking for something to protect my crew and myself, right? And I discovered this type, the C60 stuff where, let's say you take, uh, you take, you know, they gave one set of rats C60, the other set of rats didn't get C60. They hit those C60 rats, they hit the rats with a fatal dose of radiation. All the C60 rats survived, all the control rats died almost immediately, yep. right? When I, when I learned about that, I said, hey, I'm gonna get that. So I was taking that for my, my crew, myself, and which this ex experiment came out successfully. And I kept taking it because I, it had kind of improved my health. I got a couple sources. And everybody that was out there sourcing it was using it in olive oil because that's what the original scientists did. Well, right. I kind of have a little bit of a sensitive digestive system. So let's say if I wanted to take an ounce of, uh, you know, that's two tablespoons, like because I'm working a health problem of, of uh, you know, extra virgin olive oil, I might be visiting the bathroom within a short order, which uh, which would probably be wasting my C60. Right. So what I did is I, I an oil I've always used, and it's healthy, is avocado oil. And that has a really good profile. And that's the way MCT uh, olive oil and avocado oil, they have a nice profile of three and six uh, omegas, but they're also stable. So right. I, you could put this in a bottle. You can put it in the, in the shelf out, out of the sunlight, as oil should be. And, uh, and you can be, it'll last a year or two in your, uh, as a shelf. So it's a stable oil. So that's kind of like the Goldilocks solution. So I like avocado. I can easily take an ounce of avocado, no problem at all. And actually, avocado has an interesting fat profile, which is very similar to human breast milk in, wow. in that section of fat profiles. So that's why uh, avocado is so easily digested. Yeah. And, and, and I think a lot of people understand the value of, of avocado is the monounsaturated fat. You know, it's very, very good, healthy fat. A lot of people have been, you yeah. know, taught on that. So, I mean, from that aspect, um, just... Last couple uh, of comments. Let me do the old MCT coconut oil thing. Yeah, and go ahead. Please do. I did is MCT coconut oil is because the medium chain triglycerides can be taken by your liver and turned into ketones, which right. then your body can use, your cells can use as a flex fuel. Yep. And if you have a glucose problem, MCT coconut oil is a real lifesaver. Athletes also use it. If you're in competition, yep. you're a skater, you're a bicyclist, you're a runner or something, you take little shots of MCT coconut oil as you're competing. It's like a given boost. Like one of the, I'm uh, giving back to the thing. What happened is to finish my story up after about seven months of uh, taking a couple types of C60, I went to see my eye doctor and my, my dry macular degeneration had disappeared. They call it Drew's, right? Sure. It's just the beginning of it, which my eye doctor had never seen in 70 years. Now that's not the end of the story. My engineer on the, on the project, Gary Rodriguez, he had developed severe wet macular degeneration. We have a YouTube channel called C60 Purple Power on YouTube. You go there and you look at the episode Eyes on C60. He generously allowed us to use his before and after photos of his eyes. And the before, his eyes, you just they were like covered in these horrible white lesions. It was heinous. And wow. after using one year of tablespoon a day of uh, C60, the MCT coconut oil, and uh, they had completely healed up. You can see the before and after pictures. And he, of course, had he had he, you know he had diabetes. He got developed type two diabetes, which is part of the reason he had the MC. He had the the uh, macular degeneration in the first place. And not only that, not only did his eyes his his uh, his uh, macular degeneration went away, but so did his type two diabetes. So, wow. that's and, but that's because the um, that's why we provide MCT coconut oil for those people that have glucose processing issues. 
MCT is is a really important thing. But you probably already talked about MCT oil. On oh your yeah, show. thousands of times. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm today's a fasting day for me. So when I do my before I do cardio uh, tonight, and I'm actually my my wife and I are going to Mexico in two weeks. We're leaving the country there. Can you believe that? Ken? That's a whole other story for another day. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll be uh, doing a couple of like actually small shots of my MCT oil too improve my ketone production before I do my uh, cardio tonight, uh, before I break my fast. Okay. So let's talk about real quick. Let me throw this up here. So officially the Jay Campbell brand and platform machine, whatever this is, <laughs> this gypsy uh, company that I own um, is now on the purplepower.com train. And you guys can go to purple power of course, c60purplepower.com and use code J-A-Y-C. It doesn't matter before you ask me if it's case sensitive or not. 15 to take 15% off your purchase. Now, obviously, I just showed you guys the website and you know Ken is a very smart e-commerce guy who actually helps mentor me and gives me and Nick all sorts of information. Uh, and he has his set up with all sorts of subscribe and save. So I will let you figure out what that means. <laughs> But he has it all dialed in. So again, subscribe and save, throw in my code, get on the purple power train. Do not waste any more time. What I wanted to ask you before I let you go, though, is uh, talk about dogs, talk about pets, talk about the enhancements that pets can get. Literally life extension, right? Give an old yeah. cat, an old dog, carbon 60, and it's life insane. It's completely transformative. Oh yeah. And that's, yeah, that's one of the things. And, and like, for, let's say an old, uh, let's say an old German shepherd, I'm just going to give an example one. I mean, it was just next to death. They were going to take it out and, you know, put it down. And so they were gay. They started giving it a, a uh, tablespoon a day of, uh, and that's what it is. Old dogs need like an old German shepherd. We need like a tablespoon a day. The right. older it is, the more it is right. a little chihuahua thing. He can get probably get a light. Oh yeah. And it'll just, it just, it, they'll be running around. It's just amazing. What comes back? Kidney function returns, liver function returns, you know, their, their hair starts coming out healthy, uh, muscle thing returns. And, and the next thing, you know, they're running around and, you know, they don't, they don't have the placebo effect. They're, they're animals. So no, it, it, you know, we've had all kinds of miraculous, uh, stories of, I guess your dog was one of them. Dude. Of, I mean, let's, let's share it. You know, you already know this, but my dog Simba, my little, you know, Yorkshire terrier mix rat dog, he's a rat dog. Um, he literally, has been given two years of life. I mean, Ken, I mean, my wife is so grateful, but Ken, Ken saved our little rat dog's life. I mean, he is now like spunky. He'd been dead. There's no doubt. He's like literally 13 years old. Like he still gets excited at night to go, you know, we're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a walk. Blah, 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 blah. You know, he's like jumping up, you know, running around. And even in the morning, he's a morning dog, if you can believe this. Like my pit bull will not wake up. You could nuke him and he won't wake up. Right. But the little rat dog Simba, he is like ready to go in the morning and, you know, shaking. And he literally goes downstairs. I haven't told you this yet. He goes downstairs and he gets up in his little perch. We call it his throne and he waits for his carbon 60. So he knows that if he gets into the position, he's going to get the carbon 60. Now, it, I mean, it's mind blowing that dogs, as you said, I mean, obviously they're very, very connected to us from a spiritual level, a soul level, you know, spirit animal. Um, but he knows like how to get his carbon 60 and every single day he gets into that position so that Monica gives him a little dropper and he just opens his mouth and takes it. And then he gets, and he runs outside. It's unbelievable. I'll have to do a video of it and I'll send it to my email list so people can believe it when they run this podcast. But, uh, I can't recommend anything more than carbon 60 for your animals. Obviously use it for yourself. You know, you're an aging man or woman and you're, you know, into biohacking, you're into self-optimization and personal health care, take accountability and get on the carbon 60 train. But beyond that, if you care about your dogs and you have elderly cats, and by the way, it works for cats too. You know, Nick has a story about his cat. Um, there's, this is, there's nothing they can take that will enhance their life, in my opinion, more than carbon 60. Yeah. And it works for whole people too. So, <laughs> Oh yeah. I mean, it just, as you know, Ken, I mean, I, I don't want to go down the path with my parents, you know, my dad's like, Oh, there's no scientific human experiments that prove that it works. Yeah. Dad's probably not for you. 
Yes. I mean, and that's, yeah, that's part of it. I mean, taking personal responsibility for life. But if you wait around for some voice of authority to tell you what to do with your life, well, you probably won't have a life. But uh, that's, exactly. you know, it's, it's just, and, and that's not just in uh, health, by the way. That's in finances. That's Everything. in politics. That's in, you know, personal choices on all sorts of things. You know, just because, yeah, they, they took off the co white collar. Now they got a white uh, coat on and somehow it makes them, you know, like an authority. I mean, that's you need to get out of the armored personality disorder and start making decisions on your own, because the only one's going to care about your your own health or your own financial situation or your own uh, security situation or your own any situation is yourself. Right. And it's just like you do. You got to, It takes you time. It's going to take you time, effort and money to make anything happen. And the first is the time to educate yeah. yourself. You've got to educate yourself, not rely on somebody telling you what to do in your life. You be people, you can listen to people's advice. That's great. And then go out and confirm it. Yeah, that's it, brother. I mean, I, I don't have anything else to add. I mean, you and I could go on a long diatribe about what's the matter with the world, but it really is, you know, we've bifurcated, as you know, in society now with people who take personal accountability and are sovereign, empowered, and free, and the people that are down here, you know, in victimhood, giving away their power to the lab coat God or to whatever mm -hmm. external savior they have created for themselves. Like, that's where we are now, Ken. So it's like the world is already bifurcated. You know, people will message me. I'm like, hey, dude, do you think we're going to have to go and live in like eco farmlands or places? I'm like, no, probably not. But we will live in our own realities that is in, in you know, accompanied or embodied by personal accountability. Yeah, you well, know? things are going to get rougher cool. here as history is coming on. Yeah. And a lot of those people down in the red zone, they aren't going to make it. No, 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 they're not. No, they're absolutely not. You're right. Yeah, and that's absolutely true. I mean, the grand solar minimum, you know this, the grand solar minimum is already here. I mean, imagine, you know, the next five to seven years, you know, Cliff High talks about this. It's going to be really, really cold in select regions in the United States. And if you're not willing to adapt to survive, you ain't going to survive. Yeah, and it's well, and and you know all, all the other things that go with it. And I mean, look at the economic situation. I mean, they're just creating money out of thin air like a fire hose. There's consequences for that, <laughs> you know, and and then they're going to be severe. And yeah, it's you know you can borrow today. It's 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 like money junkies basically. Everything just is being a heroin junkie. If you know if you've got a money junkie economy, it's just like having a heroin junkie body. You're going to come to that day when it's going to crash and burn everything is fake you know that that guy that just left here chris mcmurtry we were just talking about that we're like you know the old cabal you know deep state whatever you want to call them the people the old school brick and mortar people that are still beholden to the old way of doing things you know they won't let go ken like everything should have already been transformed but they're just holding on for dear life like you said printing fake money keeping things you know stable that shouldn't be stable there, I mean, none of it makes any sense. And so you do assume that at some point when it all does end, there will be a delevering. There will be some sort of like, you know, combustion. I don't know if it's a collapse. I don't know if that's the right word, but the old systems must fail to make way for the new. As you know, from entropy comes creation. Yeah, so we have to have entropy to create the new. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a matter of time and, and people need to prepare themselves for that. Right. And uh, and that's, you know, I could go on, you know, it's people say having like a storage of food, right. maybe some precious metals, maybe crypto yeah. if you're that, uh, yep. the basics and live in a safer environment. I mean, yep. move to some place that probably isn't going to be, you know, as potentially chaotic and dangerous as like the if, middle of a city. If you're, not, living, if, yeah, if you're living in a major city at this point in time and you haven't, you know, listened to people like us telling you get the hell out, then, you you know, you're you got your... You're on your own path, right? Like you yeah. chosen and what you, what comes, you know, a part of that is like ultimately what you've decided that you're going to deal with. So again, if that's your path, that's fine. No judgment, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean look at Minneapolis, out of the major cities. <laughs> you look at Minneapolis or uh, New York or LA. Even LA. I mean, I mean, I, you know, thank God I left LA. They're letting, you know, thugs out of the downtown central jails now out into the, the population, the general population. Mm -hmm. It's just, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's the disintegrating of society. I mean, you see the things homeless just living on the streets. I yep. mean, it's worse than Calcutta. And it's just yep. like, it's, it's a failure of leadership. It's a failure exactly. of the elites 
you know, they say the fish rots from the head down. Well, it's rotted right. all the way down to the tail now, and we're seeing yep. the consequences. Yep, 100%. System is gone. All right, well, brother, I love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming on. So, guys, obviously, go to c60purplepower.com. Use code JAYC15. Take 15% off your order. But subscribe and save so you can get the biggest bang for your buck. And, of course, get this stuff for your dogs and your cats. I mean, are there other animals that you guys recommend, like uh, domesticated animals that you that you know people? Oh, yeah, we've had time? good good things with horses and uh, some, you know, goats and chickens and stuff. Oh, by the way, if your uh, avocado oil shouldn't be given to birds, just just because okay. that's just, avocado oil and birds do not go together. There you go. The the final tip. All right. Well, guys, obviously, again, support the amazing people. They come on the Jay Campbell podcast. Again, go to Ken's website at c60purplecower.com. And if you're going to pick up a, uh, uh, anything, uh, get on the subscribe and save. Use the code JC15. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation.